Financial ASMR channel. Where's my Guinness World Record? Okay, I'm going to talk normal now. This is a warning to lower your volume. Three, two, one. To be fair, I can't really tell the difference between my phone sound and this sound, but I'm hoping I'm gonna notice it while I edit this video. Today, I want to talk about whether there's any point to investing with very small amount, say with like a pound a month. Is there any point? Should you bother? What's the point of that? And my answer to this kind of changed through the years because I was in that position for many years while I was in university and I always said like, oh, I can't afford investing. I can barely afford food. What are you talking about? And for me, my two biggest fears were I don't have enough money. What's the point? And secondly, I don't know how to do it. It's too complicated. What if I lose the small amount of money that I have? And I feel like this video will answer both of my fears and it will make young me be less scared and just just do it, young Vivi, just do it. So this is my plan. Bear with me, this is from like the, the past me. Don't be scared, it's fine. It's gonna sound a little bit crazy in the beginning, but it's gonna make sense towards the end, I hope so. So here's my plan. Take a very, very small amount, however much you can afford. Like I feel like even one pound a month. If you can do one pound a month, you're good. Get started with one pound a month. Like that sounds, okay, that sounds kind of crazy. But this is what I would do if I started investing again because that would have been so helpful if I started investing when I was like 19 on the stock market with one pound a month that would have been nothing like profit dividends what I would have made like a pound in five years sure great but I think getting started with one pound with a very small amount fixes the problem of I don't have enough money to invest and also teaches you how to invest it's almost like you are paying yourself, your future self, a very small amount of money to practice and to learn how to invest. And I feel like that's a very useful thing, even if you can afford like a 10 or 50, 50 pounds, like a bit of a higher amount every month. But in the event that you get promoted, if you get a lump sum of money and a lot of people ask themselves, what do I do with this money? It's a great problem to have. I kind of wish I had that problem. But that one pound invested I think it's the most beneficial as a learning experience because you are paying your future self that one pound a month or one pound every three months. Make it as crazy as you want. I don't know if it's crazy or not, but that's what I would have done. So that one pound, it's actually a payment to learn, a payment to your future self, a very small payment to your future self to learn how to invest for the future. If you ever get a promotion, if you ever, of course you will get a promotion, I believe in you, what am I talking about? If you get a lump sum of money, if you get a large amount of money and you're not wondering, what can I do with this money? I don't know how to invest. And so in the future, when you get a promotion, if you ever get like a lump sum of money and you wonder, how should I invest this money? What, what should I do with them? You already have the knowledge because you've invested that one pound a month or one pound every three months and make it as sporadic as you want but it's about the experience of knowing how to use an investment account knowing how to invest learning a little bit and once you practice you kind of want to learn as well because i don't know for me i've always said i'm gonna study first i'm gonna learn a lot about investing and then i'm gonna start but to me that's kind of an excuse because that's just me maybe maybe you're not like this i don't know maybe i'm i'm quite lazy so maybe it's just me but i kept putting it off and putting it off like i've not learned yet i've not learned yet I have not learned. Once I got started with small amounts of money, now I had some stake in the game. I had some risk put in there, which made me like, okay, I want to learn about the stuff I invested in. Now I want to learn about other stuff that other people are talking about. And I started watching other people just because now I was involved and it was more interesting. So if you're finding yourself using that excuse for a few years of, I just want to learn how to invest before I start investing, maybe you could get started with one pound a month or one pound every few months and just put some money aside into your learning how to invest practices instead of buying like books and courses which i may or may not have done myself too and then i'm going by a question that i feel like past me would have asked like okay fine that's great i'll get started with one pound a month just to see how it is but what can i buy with one pound is there anything I can afford with that amount of money? And yes, <laughs> it is. But in the past, I didn't know that. I, I actually, I used to think you probably can't get started with one pound. I used to think maybe you need like 
a hundred a thousand pounds and I'll be like oh that's a massive risk I'm too scared to do it but nowadays yeah you can just really get started with one pound at least free trade trading to one two I think that's the lowest I don't think you can go lower than one but you deposit one pound then get started your merry way and if you use someone's referral link mine are in the description below also get a free share between I think like three or one hundred pounds or something like that but it's randomly generated it tends to be below 10 pounds but you get some extra amount and it gives you a share automatically so you get a little bit extra as well to get started but my point is they made it really easy to get started nowadays and it's almost like a game getting the app on your phone and, and playing about with different stocks adding them to watch lists or creating different folders with all your stocks that you want to learn about or stocks to research or stocks you've learned about i have a million folders and in terms of what you buy with your one pound, this is maybe gonna sound, once again, even crazier, but you can do fractional shares. So you can put like 10 pence into Apple, 10 pence into Tesla, like whatever crazy investment you think of. It's kind of like a playground if you put only like 10 pence, like what's the risk of that? Actually, to be honest, I've never tried to buy with less than one pound, but I think it works. I feel like you can put whatever amount you want to just buy a very small actually let me try let's 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 try it okay so i have trading to undo let's see if i can actually buy like 10 pence of a share it's going to have to be an american company because it's nighttime and the uk market is closed okay so one company that i have in one of my watch lists and i'm kind of waiting for their price to drop to buy some it's goldman sachs i've not researched them that well but 10 pence i can commit 10 pence without doing proper research that's fine i've, I've done worse <laughs> so i'm just gonna go buy and yeah, I need to put the amount of like shares I want, so it's gonna be a fraction of a share. I'm just gonna try to guess <laughs> how many. Pe okay, I I can buy 0 0.001 shares for 16 pence. I feel like that's okay. I can do less. Can I do less? Two pence. I can invest two pence. Imagine those are 200 and that's your crazy millionaire portfolio. <laughs> I'm really, I'm really buying 0 0.0001 shares. Oh my God, let's see, review order. Okay, so it does give me a pop-up to say quantity must be greater or equal than 0 0.01, but that's a fraction. Like imagine that as a fraction of however much the price of the company is. I picked a massive, like Goldman Sachs is 200 pound, 200 dollars a share. Well, that's massive but if you go with a smaller thing then it should be fine what did it say 0 0.01 0 0 0.001 try again order value must be at least one pound okay so i was wrong and this video is a mistake and i would like to apologize because <laughs> i started a video without testing things but i mean i can still buy a 0 0.01 share of goldman sachs for one pound fifty which is okay maybe if you start with one pound you have to pick one pound to invest in one particular company 0 0.01 fraction of goldman sachs for one pound 55 pence it's over my monthly budget of one pound but i'm still gonna buy it like let's let's just buy it and that's send my buy order and order was executed and i'm good okay so like i'm sorry bad news if you invest one pound a month you can only invest in one particular company your one pound but even that i feel like it would be a fun project to do one pound a month pick one company to invest in and see how much you can learn until you are ready to invest more or until you can say i know more about investing i really wish i knew when i was younger that it's really that easy to get started with investing and just invest with one pound because I, I really think I would have enjoyed that because I was doing economics at the time I was in the business school I would have really had fun with it like putting one pound a month and I'm pretty sure I would probably do like a fiver or I would do a bit more because although I was a student I was spending money on stupid Poundland Primark stuff that I could have probably skip on knowing that I can do this fun little project and it would have probably also helped me in my business school because it would have made me pay more attention to like how to research an annual report and like finance parts of 
business school that I didn't really do much finance but it makes much more sense now that I'm investing the things I used to learn in uni when they were just definitions and theory and they didn't mean much to me so yeah this is my idea start investing with one pound a month and uh, just pick whatever thing you want and have fun with it as a learning experience and maybe that's silly because it's not practical investing advice but this is what I would do and I thought I would put it there and it's getting really dark and I have a new mic but I don't have lights so I literally don't have light I only have one light in this room that's it so I'm going to have to wrap off and wrap off wrap up I'm going to have to wrap up and finish talking for tonight but thank you so much for watching and see you next time bye